trailer is still sitting in the river more than a month after it was flipped over on the Dane's Point Bridge after a crash. The trailer opened and exposed its cargo, hundreds of water bottles in that area. Tonight on your side's Troy Kless spoke with the Good Samaritans who went out today and cleaned up some of that mess early this morning. This thing's been sitting in the water for over a month and I can't believe it's still sitting there. Lee Bowman in disbelief after what he saw Saturday on a fishing trip with his dad. Uh, you can see that the doors were open and uh, it was just full of water bottles and crates like pallets and pallets of water bottles. His frustration voiced on social media turned into action. Bowman and his friends Matt Carr and Alex Sawyer traveled down Mill Cove to clean up the water bottles and lock the trailer shut. Bowman feels this should have been handled by authorities. Why did it get to the point that I have to drive by and see water bottles floating around to be able to get someone's attention? The Florida Highway Patrol told First Coast News previously that a wrecking company will use a barge and a crane to remove the trailer. FHP said that there is no hazardous material in the trailer. They did not reveal a date when the trailer would be removed. But still, Bowman is dedicated to cleaning up the environment, an environment where he spent his life and a place that he wants future generations to enjoy. Somebody's got to step up and do it because this is our future. This is our river. This is our kids' river. So we need to make sure we clean it up and have, have good resources and fisheries and, and environment for them to be able to grow up in. In Arlington, Troy Kless, First Coast News, on your side.